Thanks, Matt. That's not going to be the case tomorrow and especially on Thursday. That's right. We're going to get a little bit cooler and then much cooler once the cold front hits us by Thursday with those scattered storms. But maybe you need some ideas in order to enjoy the warm weather. We've got the Amarillo Sod Poodles. They're in town taking on the Northwest Arkansas Naturals, our best ballpark and throughout much of Northwest Arkansas. We're in the 70s through 8 o'clock. We'll finally get to the 60s by about 10 o'clock and that's really similar in the River Valley too where we're going to have the 70s through 9. We may hit the 60s by about 10, 11 o'clock clock it'll be a little bit later for us but beautiful evening no matter what you're doing there's just enough humidity that makes it comfortable but it's not that summer humidity that we all come to dread uh, here in the next several weeks but tomorrow morning waking up headed out the door check with meteorologist Zach Scott he'll show you some beautiful pictures of the sunrise and then later in the afternoon the clouds will definitely thicken up as the south wind picks up too we're expecting to get to the upper 70s and little 80s we may be one or two degrees cooler than we were today mainly because of extra clouds I mean today we had a lot of sunshine, barely a cloud out there. But here's a look at Futurecast overnight tonight. Fairly clear. You'll be this able to see the stars just fine. In the morning, I think we're mostly clear too. But then later in the afternoon, the clouds thicken up. And there's a point where some of the clouds, if they get too thick, they could produce a couple little raindrops every once in a while. But we don't have any storms in the forecast tomorrow. Otherwise, we're basically thinking it mostly cloudy days and sore for your Wednesday. Then by Thursday, we have to talk about storm chances. As the front comes in from the north and west, it'll be able to spark more rain that eventually turns over to thunderstorms, which eventually will turn over to some severe storms as they're trying to pass on through. But that call comes in Thursday from essentially about one o'clock all the way until about six o'clock. I think they start to clear uh, the Clarksville, Paris, Waldron area right around six, seven, and then we're done. Then they move into central Arkansas and they get a lot bigger. But Thursday's our next chance for weather real weather that actually impacts us. But then after the front gets on through, guys, it's going to get a lot cooler as we push into the weekend. But let's start off with the storms, then we'll talk about the chill. So we have that level one severe risk for the River Valley east and south of Fort Smith. That's where the storms will start to get a little bit more robust. They could start producing some hail, but then the larger hail will be, I think, just towards our east in central Arkansas. Remember, our last zone when we had that severe hail was really hitting us in Fort Smith and in Poto and in Ozark and Dyer, Kibler, and then we had some hail in northwest Arkansas as well. But this time, I think that crazy hail that we had should be a little bit farther east. We'll let you know if these zones shift because the real reason why we have the zones a little bit farther east is the timing of the front. The front may be able to move a little bit faster than that last front we had. So here's a look at Futurecast. You're watching some of these storms trying to fire up later into the afternoon, but they'll get bigger three, four, five, six o'clock. By the time they're moving out, they could be pretty severe as they go through central Arkansas. Little Rock, Pine Bluff, Pot Springs, they're going to get a lot worse than we do. Afterwards, we cool down. There could still be a stray shower Friday, but then this weekend we get sun. But look at that temperature. It's going to get cold Saturday night and Sunday morning. We've got a freeze likely in northwest Arkansas and a frost likely in the River Valley. But overall, it is going to get much chillier after this front, Darren. All right, Matt, thanks. It's been years of planning and reconstruction. This week, the Arkansas Museum of Fine Arts ready to open its doors again. Julissa Garza gives us a first look.